Hi, CJP families. I'm Miss Courtney. I'm Aria. Are you guys ready to get your craft on? So, this week's theme is Lila Tove, which means good night. So we are going to be doing a fun Starry Night Constellation sensory bag. All you need is a Ziploc bag, tape, clear gel, confetti, or in our case, beads, and black paper. If you don't have black paper, white paper is just fine. And as you can see, I drew a whole bunch of different stars and different colors. And this will be great because we do have um, colorful beads that we're gonna be using. And it'll be wonderful for color matching to match the blue to the blue, the green to the green, and so on. So, what you first wanna do, and of course, no worries if you do not have this size bag. Any size bag will work. Just make sure it double seals so it doesn't make a big old mess. So the first thing that you wanna do is take your gel, and this is all we had on hand. It's recommended to use clear gel because I think it will make it look cooler. But I mean, this is clear orange. So just pour the whole thing into your bag. Oh man, it smells really good. We don't have clear gel, but we have <laughs> orange gel that's all we could find. Yeah. But, and it smells like orange is mine. We are practicing social distancing. So we did not go out to the store to get any of these ingredients. These were just things that we happen to have on hand. So you, uh, you, you use what you can. It's no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> it's All like right. a song. Aria, do you want to pour in the beads? Yes. Okay. So after you finish putting all the gel in, you can put your beads or your confetti. Um, foil confetti is recommended because if you use the paper kind, it will obviously disintegrate in the gel. But um, pretty much anything that you can find at home that's little will be great. And this is great for really any age range. Just obviously with the little ones, you wanna be careful because um, some of these things can be considered choking hazards and um, you just you know wanna monitor them and make sure. But with the beads over the foil um, confetti, these will actually be a lot easier for the tinier fingers. Okay. This actually looks more satisfying than I thought. <laughs> and it smells really good. Okay, so then the next thing that you wanna do is carefully, 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 lay the bag flat on the table and try and get as much air out as possible. Actually, it's not oozing as much as I thought. I'll try and hold it up closer here. And then flatten it out, get as much air out as possible, and then fill it. Reseal it, double check everything, and then you can kind of just flatten it out here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the camera so you guys can see a better idea of what it looks like. So here's our finished product. I went ahead and I um, got some masking tape and I taped each end, and this just again reinforces the bag to stay closed and sealed. And um, I just taped the top and the bottom to the paper. And now um, Arna's having a great time over here. Are you color matching? Yes. So this is really great for fine motor um, and just really moving those little objects around. Um, and I mean, they can move them around with literally no purpose at all. Just they, if they wanna make a smiley face, if they wanna make their own design, either way, um, it's perfectly fine. If they wanna color match and you wanna go ahead and make the different colored stars and they can try and add the colors, that's fine too. Aria, what do you think? I love it. What does it feel like? It feels like slime. Like slime? Yes. Except no mess. Yay! Mm -hmm. So thanks so much guys. And if you decide that you are going to also make your own sensory bag, please take a picture and show it to us on our um, CJP Facebook. We would love to see your versions of the Starry Night bags. Okay, so another great idea that um, I just realized is because only the two sides are taped, you can go ahead and slide whatever kind of paper or stencil underneath that you want. So if you wanna practice shapes, you can go ahead and make a circle. So I decided to do a big um, circle with a smiley face and you can go ahead and have them try and line up the beads to go according to um, each line. And you can slide it under and depending on what you wanna do that day, um, just keep the fun going. 